All right, so we're going to use spherical coordinates on this. Uh, the drawing. <coughs> so when you draw a sphere, draw a circle, draw an equator to, to give it the illusion of depth. There you go. Um, so we'll say that's our sphere of radius root 6, I guess. And then uh, this is the top half of a, of a cone. Its vertex is at 0, 0, 0. So it's got to be in there like that. And then what I'm drawing here is would be the where the cone intersects the sphere, something like that. Does that make sense? Okay. So the z-axis would be coming out like this. Notice how I'm not drawing everything, just the bare minimum. There's the z-axis. And I want the volume, let's see, that lies inside the sphere and below the half cone. So now the half cone keeps going, right? It doesn't stop there. So if we want the volume below the half cone, we have to focus down here, but it's got to stay inside the sphere. So it's all the volume in the sphere kind of surrounding the cone, the, the bottom of the cone. Does that make sense? Okay. So let me erase those extra lines because it really makes it look ugly. Okay. So everybody's with me on what it is we're finding. Okay. Then um, the only thing that's in question, if you think about it, would be a single limit of integration that might be hard to find. The rest of it uh, will be fairly routine. Okay, so uh, rho squared sine phi, d rho, d phi, d theta. What does rho have to run from? So this is gonna be the volume. What, there's gonna, we're gonna have to do some more work over here to get one of the limits of integration, but I wanna point out that you can just visually inspect it and get all the limits of integration except <coughs> one. Uh, so what does rho want run from? Zero to root six. Okay, now this is, this is the one I was talking about. If you, th if you think about it, here's the negative z-axis down here. If you think about what phi has to range from, here's the initial side of, z of, of uh, phi, right? We actually want to start phi here, don't we? And then run it all the way down here. Well, I know what this angle is down here. So I know actually the upper limit of integration, right? So the upper limit of integration, integration on phi has got to be pi, right? But I don't know what, no, this angle is my phi one. The, I'll call phi one the lower limit of integration, right? The angle the side of the cone forms with the z-axis. So that's my phi one. That's what I don't know right. I'm going to erase that in a second, so don't write that down. But I'm going to figure that out in a second. And then what is theta going to run from? I mean, if you, if you project down into the xy plane, you're, you're going to get that you're integrating over a disk, aren't you? Well, I'm sorry. I made it too big. No, that's, that's actually fine the way it is, the way I drew it. Think about it, but you don't even need to do that when you're in spherical coordinates anyway. So think about it. In order to sweep out all the points under inside the sphere and underneath that cone, isn't theta going to have to be at its limits, 0 to 2 pi? Yeah. yeah. So do you see that just by drawing the picture, we automatically know all the limits of integration except the lower middle one. Now, because it's z equals square root of x squared plus y squared, I can predict that it's going to be pi force. Yeah. But you've got to be careful because, you know, on the test, I might change it so that it's not pi force anymore. So let me show you kind of the generic way of finding that angle. And then we'll go ahead. Sorry, I've gone a little late. We'll go ahead and take that break. So, well, Just keep it as pi force, no, I mean, <laughs> 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 all right. Um, so think about it. This would be a circle. This intersection curve would be a circle, right? Okay. And then I could get the radius of that circle fairly easily. And then I could focus on this triangle. 
to help, it's a right triangle and I could focus on that right triangle, including the radius of that intersection circle um, and I could get phi using just right triangle trig if I can get the radius of that, inter, of that intersection circle. So the intersection circle in green there, uh, the points on that circle have to satisfy both the sphere and the cone. So you treat the sphere and the cone equation like it's a system of equations and solve. So in other words, I could plug z equals square root of x squared plus y squared in there and square it. And if I do that, I would get x squared plus y squared plus, well, you square the square root, you get another x squared plus y squared equals 6. Or 2x squared plus 2y squared equals 6. Or x squared plus y squared equals 3. Does everybody buy that? So what's the radius of this intersection circle in, in green here? Wouldn't it be the square root of that number? So the side of that, uh, so I'm going to redraw that triangle in orange there separately so you can see it. So here's phi 1. And I know that the length of the opposite side of phi 1 is root 3. Do you buy that? And then, oh, I know the hypotenuse. What's the hypotenuse? It's the radius of the sphere, which is root 6. Do you remember so Katoa from trigonometry? What does the so part stand for? S-O-H. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. So what's the sine of phi equal? Root 3 over root 6, but you can combine that into a single radical, root 3, 6 which is root one half, which is root two over two. So if sine of phi is root two over two, what does phi have to equal? 45 degrees pi force. So there's your setup. So I'm honestly thinking of putting a problem like this one on the test, but the angle won't be pi force. I'm telling you that right now. So in other words, you're gonna have to do this little derivation to come up with what f the uh, beginning angle on phi would be if, if it looks like this problem. I'm not making any guarantees, but if I put it on the test, then I'll make it, so it'll probably be a special angle, so you should know how to get that, like pi over six or pi thirds or something like that, but you should know how to get that, yeah. <coughs>